Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So today I got something a little bit different. So about 10, 11 months ago I reviewed this. This is the Bugs 5W. I've been sorting through some quite a lot of drones and quads that I'm getting rid of because my channel's obviously now going to be different and not as much of this type of stuff. So I've been selling loads of stuff. And I, I got this out and I got the Bugs 3 Pro out to box up to get ready to sell them. When I did that I thought, how many times have I actually flown this? And I've only flown it twice. So I decided I want to go take it out for a fly. So I flew it and this is why I want to do this video. So in my opinion, because you do so many stuff when you're reviewing, I've reviewed so many drones, that you kind of forget what the stuff you've had was like. You look back on the video and I said this was good at the time. And I also put it in, I think I put it in my favourite drones of last year. I'm sure I did. But after flying this again, I think this is better than an F11. Uh, uh, flight wise certainly and the camera definitely is better than an F11 the problem this has got is the battery life is nowhere near the same as an F11 and people want folding drones in today's market but I prefer this I think the controller is better I think the drone flies better the camera is better I just think it's an all-around better drone so this is why I wanted to do this video because this has probably been forgot about by a lot of people, especially because JGRC released the X5, which is more expensive than this and exactly the same drone. And I think there's a few others now, I can't remember who makes this, but there's a few other people got their version of this drone. But it's exactly the same drone, might have a slightly different body. This to me is still unbelievably good for just over, I think it's about 110 quid you pick one up for. I think it's well worth 110 quid. It doesn't fold, no. But it's still small, it's neat, the camera's decent on it, you can adjust it. And it's got some kind of, uh, um, sorry, some kind of stuff, some kind of ball on here to stop it moving around. I can't remember what the word was. Takes the SD card in the back. And obviously it connects to the Bugs Go app. The controller feels really nice in your hand to fly. It's, the sticks feel decent on the resolution. The little display works well for me. So, I really, if I was, I'm not going to go say the F11 in a good drone, it is, I think it's a fantastic drone, but I think this is phenomenal, hence why I've done this video. So, I'm not going to go on, if you want to see the original video, the original video's back, you'll have to dig back through my archives, but it's there, and you can see what I originally thought of it, I think it did a two part review on this when it first came out. But yeah, for me, it's highly, highly impressive. The range is decent. The app's kind of all right. It's not the best app in the world, but none of these kind of drones to me have a decent app. But yeah, for me, it gives a massive thumbs up. I'm going to leave you with some footage recorded um, today. So you, this is actually recorded. Just I've just flown it outside, but you, the video is now. It's not video I've used before. You're going to see it hover and you're going to see it fly. I think it's tremendous value for money. If you're looking for a drone around the £100 mark, a camera drone, I don't think you can do much better than this. Even even though the F11 is a fantastic drone. But yeah, definitely have a look at this. I'm also probably going to do a re revisit on the Bug 3 Pro because I flew that yesterday and that surprised me as well how good it was. But this will be the last time you see this on my channel because this and the Bugs 3 Pro are both going to get sold with loads of other stuff. So they'll be up for sale very, very shortly. Enjoy the video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think it's still a good drone or do you think it's now old fashioned looking because it doesn't fold and it's just a one piece drone? I actually do not mind drones that don't fold, but I've got a car so I go around in my car and I stick it in my boot. So for me, that might make a difference, but really. The Phantom 4 for me is still one of my favourite drones. It doesn't fold, but it's still something I like using. And I think with drones like this, they've been a bit left behind. And the other problem is, of course, so many drones have come out over the last 11 months since this came out. It's a ridiculous amount of drones. It's a ridiculous amount of brushless GPS drones that have come out. They're now progressing to brushless GPS with a 2K camera, even though they've advertised as 4. They haven't. They've only got a 2K camera. And things have just gone on and on and on. But they're not necessarily better. A lot of the stuff that I've done recently over the last few months and stuff isn't as good as this. So this would be my shout out if you're after, if you're after a cheap GPS camera drone. I'd still go for this. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. You ready?
Wow. It's good that, isn't it? Look how stable it is, Max. Very stable that, isn't it? Right, let's start the video. We're videoing. Should we go fly it? Here we go. Yeah. I've flown this.
thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up